I hate bullies. Anybody who uses their strength or their power to pick on someone that's weaker. I started this journey of protecting the most vulnerable with the Air Force, helping find high-level terrorists. When I got dropped in the middle of Iraq, even though I'd had the training, I definitely questioned my own abilities because I was so different. I am a female, I am young, I am Hispanic, only five foot three, been OSI. Most of my coworkers were males and every hour questioned if I was good enough to do the job. I always grew up feeling like we were really poor and I internalized all that. The hardest thing I had to overcome financially was the day I got the eviction notice. I needed to do something different. My name is Lonnie Bankhead. I'm a 17-year veteran with the Air Force. Both of my parents are Puerto Rican. They were born and raised. And education was the path that my dad took to get out of poverty. He got an ROTC scholarship, became an officer, and got sent to San Francisco for his first unit. My dad is the American dream. I always knew I wanted to join the military. In elementary school, I just remember seeing the cadets come back from basic training and just being in awe of them because these were people that were volunteering to give their life up for their country. And for me, there was no higher calling than that. I started my Air Force career as a personnelist, but I had all these supervisors pushing me to becoming a special agent. I thought OSI were a bunch of snitches, and we all know that snitches get stitches. It turned out it was completely not what I thought. We hunt spies, we hunt terrorists, any kind of white collar crime. I really appreciate getting the opportunity to uncover what actually happened so that victims of crimes can get justice and we can be a tool of that healing for that person. I do go undercover. For us, what that means is we're leaving the safety of the base to meet with informants that have access to information. I do get nervous sometimes when I'm in the field. Being in Iraq, you're getting mortared, you're getting shelled, you're getting shot at. There is fear sometimes for your life, but my job there was not to be safe. This one particular day, my interpreter and I were getting ready to go meet an informant. My boss immediately shot it down. My interpreter is like, I think it's because you're a woman. Special operations is a very male-dominated place, but what I discovered in Iraq was that all of those things that I thought were weaknesses were actually strengths for me. Once I was able to reframe that for myself and leverage that in the work that I do, it just kind of blew up from there in a good way. My family, we were middle class, but just the kind of sense in the house that I grew up with was that we didn't have money. I ended up joining the Air Force because I couldn't afford college any other way than an ROTC scholarship. When you come from a poor place and you can have the nicer things, you know, there's always that kind of struggle between saving versus spending. And so I was staying in a place that had high rent. I knew I couldn't afford it. And so I was behind a few months when I got my eviction notice out of my apartment. That really was a wake up call for me. All I knew was I needed to stop this eviction. I started my financial fitness journey and decided that I was never gonna be in debt ever again. We have a really robust retirement portfolio. The TSP is a really great tool. Not all of our eggs are in one nest, and so if any one thing caves, we're covered. Because of the freedom that you have financially, you're able to contribute back to the world in a way that you find meaningful. For me, what that has translated to is I work as a state special agent, working internet crimes against children to protect them and make sure that they're not being exploited. The pay is awful. But because we are financially solvent, it doesn't matter. I can do that job that I really, really love, that I think is really important, but I don't have to worry about having a roof over my head. For our child sex abuse material investigations, a lot of that evidence can be super tiny and really easy to hide. And so these dogs help us protect kids. The joy that I experience from doing the thing I was meant to really do, which is protect kids, protect the most vulnerable, has just been really incredible. What I would go back and tell my 21-year-old self is that when you can have the courage to explore who you are and what your true beliefs are, despite what the rest of the world is telling you, when it comes time to take the leap, you're gonna feel super at peace and amazing about it. Having that parallel financial journey is really important because it does afford you opportunities to pivot at the right time. You're gonna know that you're aligning yourself with what you were meant to do.